first? Yes. Okay. Here we go. I'm a little nervous. He did add some Parmesan cheese. Yeah, I'm a little nervous too. Well, he's not throwing up. No, I like it. My name is Michelle, and I know you guys have been very patient, and a lot of you have been asking, when's the next cooking video? It is here. Are you ready? So, I finally decided we're doing the gnocchi. You guys remember when we bought this, like, forever ago? So long ago that I actually checked the expiration date on it because I was a little worried that we were past its prime. Expiration Best Buy. July 20th, 2023. Not even kidding. I couldn't make this up if I tried. What's today's date, baby? Yeah. Today is the 10th. July 10th, 2023. Um, so, we've never had gnocchi before, but I guess it's basically like a pasta. It says, bring four to six quarts of water to a boil, add salt, optional, I'm not adding salt, and pour gnocchi. Uh, Cook, stirring gently until they rise to the surface, drain, and serve with your favorite sauce. I am also going to be browning up some sausage, and I think we have a little bit of pepperoni left, so I'm going to cut it up and add it to the sausage after the sausage is done, and then we'll add spaghetti sauce. It'll be kind of like a pizza gnocchi, because I also have some mozzarella cheese that we're going to add to it. So, let me get you guys set up. I will get the sausage going, and we'll get this meal ready. Okay, I have to apologize right off the bat because see how that's nice and brown and those little like reddish colored flecks of stuff in there? That's pepperoni. You see what had happened was I thought I had hit record and I had not and so the sausage is all browned up. That red stuff is actually um, pepperoni that I quartered. They are like the one and a half inch or two inch round pieces of pepperoni. The scissors that you see up there are there because that's what I used to quarter the pepperoni with. So sorry about that you guys. I never claim to be perfect and actually on this day um, I was on a big old struggle bus with well life. So anyway I'm gonna do kind of a voiceover on this. Yeah we'll see how that goes. <laughs> anyway you just saw me put the gnocchi in I had not been feeling good for about a day and a half and hubby went and got me some Gatorade which usually helps me perk up pretty good um, and right now I'm actually trying to get an ice cube out of a cup because um, I wanted one of the really small ones to go in the new drinking uh, tumbler that Julie just sent us stepping out the water that was in there because don't want to mix water and Gatorade that would not be good and anyway uh, yeah, don't know why that did that. It's, um, I'm not going to fix it at this point. <laughs> so anyway, um, and I'm going to chug a bunch of this real quick because I just felt so weak and just lightheaded and not much energy at all. So anyway, thank you Miss Julie for the, my Tervis. I love mine. Richard still hasn't used his. So yeah, there's that. Uh, the Noki did boil over, so just be warned, it boils over pretty easy. <laughs> actually yeah oopsie but you see it's floating that means it is done and watch this guys oh yeah slow-mo Michelle put in a slow-mo <sighs> thank God for my husband I don't think I could have done that if my life depended on it because I was just how weak and just not into it and I was <laughs> Just as I was getting ready to say, no, the other direction, he's like, oh, wait, she's recording and turned it the other direction. Ignore the soaking pan in the sink, Well, oh, I have please. to admit, that did not cook up to as much as I thought it would. Excuse me, I got the burst. I took that big old drink of Gatorade. But anyway, let's get stuff rearranged here. I'm trying to do this one-handed without burning myself. Hey, I did it. All right, let me set you guys up. Ba 
Okay, so I literally just threw the meat in there, added pizza sauce. You really could have used spaghetti sauce to do this. It would have um, worked either way, but I was going for the pizza flavor. I thought with the gnocchi being more dough-like, it might work out better. I don't know. Um, it was very filling. You'll see how much Hubby puts in our bowls here in a second. I could not eat half of mine. Um, extremely, extremely filling. So, just be warned. Yeah. And there it is. So, yeah. It was really super easy to do, thank God, because for reals, I had no energy. <laughs> Wishing I'd had more mozzarella. Um, but it is what it is. Gonna have to buy some here pretty soon. Because I love my cheese. Yeah. So good though. Oh my gosh. So, so good. Alright baby, you ready to eat? Yep. Alright, hubby's gonna scoop it up for us. That's what it looks like. Not very much there. I really thought that would cook up more. But, okay. And there's some stinky feet cheese if we decide we want some stinky feet cheese. Half that, half that, half that. First time ever having gnocchi? All right. Yes? Want... No? Yes. Okay. Yeah. And you want my honest? Yes. Okay. Here we go. I'm a little nervous. He did add some Parmesan cheese. Yeah, I'm a little nervous too. Well, he's not throwing up. <laughs> no, I like it. Um, it has a texture of a um, dumpling. Oh, man. Yes. That's not good. Michelle doesn't like dumplings <laughs> because of their texture. To me, it's kind of like uh, pizza dumplings. Okay. Hold I on. like it. Hold on. Okay. Pizza. He's saying that it tastes like a dumpling but has the texture of a dumpling, which makes me nervous because I'm not a fan of dumplings. So, I'm getting a little bit of a gnocchi, a little bit of the meat and the sauce and the, the, the stinky feet cheese. Okay. Here we go. Do you agree or disagree on my assumptions or my my interpretation? Definitely the texture of a dumpling. Yeah. I don't think it tastes like a dumpling. You mm. can I can taste that it's potato, which is what gnocchi is. Mm. It's potato. To me. Mm. It's pizza dumplings. I like <laughs> it. Uh, yeah, I'm glad that we had sausage and pepperoni and pizza sauce, not spaghetti sauce. But we just have these little remnants of things that I wanted to get used up before they go bad. And I wanted to get the gnocchi done because I was afraid of it going bad. So, yeah. It'll definitely be a good meal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm sorry there's not as much yeah. footing, footage of me cooking the meat. I thought I had hit record. I oh, no. You do that. Mm. No, anyway. This would be really good with some garlic bread and some side salad. Oh, yeah. We didn't go that far. Yeah. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.